Hello everyone and welcome to Stoneheart in Talara. So we get an interesting weather, we actually got some rain, got some thunder in the desert which might seem a little bit unreal. But that's the kind of weather like IRL that I really really enjoy, you know you have some like really sunny weather, but somehow it is still raining, it just feels so magical somehow. And that's what I'm feeling with this weather in the game at the moment as well. So today we will continue at the very top here. Wow, look at the thunder just behind the castle. We will continue working around here. In the recent video we were working on a bridge that's gonna be over the water. And I think we should try to get closer and closer towards the water. I think that would be a good idea. I tried to add a couple of these around here. Pretty much just to see how that could look. So they're probably not gonna be there, but it did look kinda cool. I think, however, for the back here, I might actually decide to have so you can actually like go around all the way, almost like a balcony around it. I think that could be really, really cool. So I definitely think we should look into that. And we should probably also look into mining out a bit more. So we're gonna make this a little bit deeper so it can a little bit more water instead of just having one block like that we can make it a little bit deeper and then eventually we get down here where the water can go down like to the next level sort of and maybe be like an like a mini waterfall sort of that's go down here and we want this like spread around our town with the water so it's gonna be kind of like pumped up to the castle area then it's gonna be coming down again into our town and in this case, since we haven't built anything here, maybe it would be a good idea to, for example, we can have like a uh, bridge somewhere and the water could be flowing down here. So let's make some place for that. Let's make it like 7. If we're gonna go old numbers, we can make this a little bit deeper. I feel like it can be pretty deep here. A little bit deeper in the middle. Maybe even... Is that a bit too much perhaps? We don't really need it to be that deep, I suppose, so let's redo that. But with 7, I'm not sure, 5. Let's go with 5, we can also adjust this as we go. Let's lower this, and I think if you have that depth, I don't think we need more than that really. Then we want to lead the water from here, so it should be kinda deep here. Let's well, get down, I might have it a little bit wider, and the, the width can change as we go. I think that's gonna be fine. Let's just get on top level and then we can think, think about the depth and places later on. And I'm gonna make this feel kinda organic so the water has been flowing here for a while and it has made its little curves and stuff so I don't really want to make this to like look really like perfect because the water itself has done a good job with moving the water around here. So, and now we can go deeper. And it's gonna be really interesting, I hope this is not gonna lag my computer to death. It might be the case, we will see I suppose, but hopefully not. And you know, we can have some bridges here and there, like smaller ones if you need to. And it can even be like, even though we're like bringing down water here, there's nothing that says we can't have like a pond over here. Maybe the water goes in a little stream over here, and then there's water, there's fishing, there's whatever really. And we can even make use like put a water wheel down and pretend it's like generating power or something. Because we are allowed to imagine things, right? Okay, let's make this turn here a bit. I'm thinking it will go something like this. Maybe if you're lucky, you might even find gold down here. Some nuggets getting stuck here and there. Then you can come rich and buy some delicious meals in Talara. Spend it on a, in the pub, maybe. <laughs> I'm actually gonna make this reach kind of a bit to the side because we have the little basement there, we don't want to lead down water to the basement, they're not gonna like that. D 
there we go. Okay. I think that's a good start. However, since we're at it, let's keep mining even more. Here it goes to perhaps a little bit of a thinner place. Maybe like, I can go form with in this place. Like that, maybe. This is gonna generate a lot of clay, which we are also gonna need. And this is gonna be really cool. Like, if you decide to have like a herbalist or something, I know that was suggested in comments by the walls and stuff like that. But if you decide to do in the back here, we have a lot of water. We're gonna be able to have also a lot of green and vegetables and herbs and all kinds of natural things just growing around and could be a good place for a cozy little herbalist hut. And we can have so this one actually goes all the way down and reaches into this place. And this is already connected to the big water which is connected to the edge. So I think, I don't remember exactly but I think if it is connected to that and we are generating water at the top, I don't think it will cause issues. I know that the water should at least be unlimited if it's touching the edge. However, I'm not entirely sure what's gonna happen if we start releasing water up here from those water stones, the wet stones. Uh, worst case scenario, if we have to stop it, we will pretty much um, be adding dry stones. So the dry stones does the opposite. However, I do think that might be performance heavy and I'm not entirely sure if we have to do that. Another way would be, instead of drying it up all the time, would be to actually send it back with water pumps. And we can maybe do that, uh, let's say, I think down here would be a pretty good option. Somewhere that is fairly close to the top here, so we can lead up those with like water pumps, and it's gonna be really fun. I actually made a dry dock at one point in the Viking town, quite long ago now, but it was really fun to do it because it actually worked, you could like, remove water from it, you can also add water to it, so you can actually really work like a real life dry dock pretty much. It, it do, didn't really do anything in the game really, but just the fact that you can do it, it's, it's such a nice thing. Here, I'm not sure, will we actually be able to dig here when we have a field, like for a shepherd? I'm not really sure what's gonna happen. But I'm gonna make it so we dig all the way here. And then we have to do, looks like we have to do something about this little tiny little road here. We can wait a little bit without, no panic with that. But then we want to make it connected here. And that should be pretty good, I think. I think we need to do maybe one more step, but it's really tricky to see what's happening here. But if we go in and... Oh dear, that should be it, I think. Very nice. I've seen some varanzas as well over here. I'm kind of leaning towards if we should go maybe and fight those. What is that? Ah, the lightning strike over there. Okay. So, I wonder if we should send some troops. They aren't really harming us in any way, so I guess we don't really need to do so. They can live another day, I suppose. Oh, here are some varanzas as well. But they look like they're kind of heading away from us. I wonder if they're escaping or something. I'm gonna send out my crew to fight them. I'm gonna fight this guy, Varenus. Yeah, that should be good. Look at those glowing ones. That looks really nice. That's providing us with some sweet, sweet sugar. Yeah, let's see these, by the way. In these, we are gonna store the ideas that we will store like animal things in it. However, I see that we never set them up, at least not for both of them. You can see here we have like cheese in them, we got some sour cream. I think milk should also go in there. Because this one was set to I think animal produce or something like that. But like this one, raw animal goods. I, I think that's probably it, right? Or maybe brewing ingredients. I'm not entirely sure. Could also be cooking ingredients. But anyway, this one, let's remove that and let's change this. And uh, no default storage. Let's pause that. Can have some food in it as well. I'm just gonna go this way just in case. Maybe it counts as a drink. Invaders. Okay, yeah, that's the Varenses. Okay, we're gonna go deal with them. We are very close by. Okay, let's go and slam them. Let's 
quite a trap to get all the way here. And some of them are like, screw you guys, we don't wanna fight, you can deal with Banto's troop yourself. We're gonna give, go and live a better life at this door. Okay, I think we should actually run to them because they are gonna try to actually break our door. We do have two turrets, which will be shooting them. Which will also be dealing a bit of damage, but you can see they're just going through at the moment. And I think we will, um, I think we're building something here, just so they can't go through it if they're able to access the water. And make it look like it's a, like a gate that you can like open, you can like pull it up and pull it down to whenever it's needed, pretty much. Oh no, they're going up to the turrets! Okay, they're gonna be fighting the turrets. Oh no, he's hitting it, okay. We can focus on this guy. We need to go up to the walls and fight them. There we go. Probably gonna keep aggro on it, maybe. There we go. Dean update. Okay, the food. I think the food is starting to go down a bit again. We might have to take another look at that. Just to ensure we are um, getting more food than we are eating. But I'm looking forward to get more turrets. Okay, this guy wants to take the door. You not take Banto's door? Then we will take you down. Go over with the, with the boats. Yes. Sailing. Let's go. And okay, let's go find him. Now it's your turn. It's burning. Look kind of fun, like because this is just on fire and it looks kind of greenish, which mostly is positive. Meanwhile, this one is like slow. It feels like it should almost be red when you're burning. Like I'm positive, I'm burning. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, but yeah, I guess I shouldn't spread uh, my IDs all over this video. But uh, the ID would be, for example, this is a pretty quick one to do as well. So we have ten in between here. We would make something that can go down here. And since we have 10, it might be a little bit odd perhaps to set it up. But perhaps if we go like that, the middle is a bit thicker, which maybe even makes sense. Then what you would do... Is this its own building, however? Looks like it is. It's very important when you do a new structure to make sure it's actually a new building. Otherwise, I could have been adjusting the castle, and then you see like, oh, why is this thing so expensive? Oh, it's an entire castle. Oh no, not good. But actually in this case, since this already kind of would prevent them from actually pausing through, I'm thinking of doing this somewhere a little bit different. Normally I cover the entire thing, but since this works as it works, I'm thinking that these would be, this would be what you would pretty much pull up. So you pull up and it would go through here, slightly. And this this will actually like prevent actually boats from going through, so I think this is fine. And if you want to, we can actually... Okay, maybe do it like that even. I'm not sure if I like that, I might go without it. I think it must maybe better without it. Like that. And perhaps there's... Another one here, just to strengthen it a bit. And then, for making it maybe even better, and uh, let's add, I can imagine there are some, perhaps some metal pieces there. Maybe that's in, like in the bottom as well. Maybe like that, perhaps. Maybe some pieces in between here will also be in a different color. So I think like that, that should be pretty quick to build. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, they will have problems building when it's under like this, so 
It was pretty much an impossible build. Your halflings will not be able to build this. So for that case, we have to do an instant build. I'm sorry to do it, but it's one of those cases, I think, when the game just can't handle it. So we're just gonna do that. And it would have been a really quick build if the game could handle that anyway, so... Yep, there we go. So just imagine that it's down here, and we can, like, pull it up here, through here. So, ship's gonna pass through, pull it up. Ship's not gonna pass through, pull it down. And also keeps Varanuses out, most likely. Might allow potentially small ones to get through. I'm not actually sure what will happen. The small ones might be able to, like, go over that, but that's fine. But I don't think Varanus will go through. Maybe they only are one by one in size as well, even though they look much, much bigger. If that is the case, we will just uh, maybe do something behind here. But uh, that's another time, I think. Okay, so let's see how the mine is going here. Is this... I wonder if this is like sound from the wind or if this is sound from water. I hear some sounds like wind. So I'm just gonna dig through here. Can allow the water to pass up. So it's actually gonna be probably passing through here and potentially filling this entire thing. Not up here. That's gonna happen later. But I wonder if this is an infinite water source and you maybe not generate any water. If I skip the whetstones and pump up the water, maybe that will be the best solution. I wonder if you have any water pumps. We did we did put to craft a few, but I think we were too low low skilled for it. There's the gate. Okay, so let's go to the engineer. Let's see what's happening. We need to get to at least the standard one, this one. Okay, so this one, I think we had a few of those. Let's see here, we miss the iron ingots. Uh, so let's have a look and see if we actually are able to make more iron. And this, okay, we're out of iron ore. And uh, this one we shouldn't even do anymore. So we should prefer to do this one. Uh, it's, it's not wasting as much ore, pretty much. And it should be the same for that one. Pretty much whenever you see an ingot crafting that has like two next to each other, you can skip the old one, pretty much. So here we have steel. I don't think that has that thing. Uh, but as we can see, we, we do need more iron. And I wonder if you have a merchant. And uh, let's say Mar the Miner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing he's supposed to look like Super Mario because he sure does. Where is he? It's a me, Mario. Need some pizza. That must be Super Mario. Yes, that's Super Mario for sure. I have to take a screenshot of this guy. <laughs> I had no idea to add this. This is so fun. That's so nice. Awesome. What's the anyone else? I bet I have missed people before that were special like that. Oh, he and he has the things I'm needing. Thank you, Super Mario. Boing boing. It's a me, Super Mario, with the ores for you. Thank you. Expensive, but thank you anyway. Uh, we're gonna buy a few more of these. Uh, he wants to buy wood, which is not a thing that I have a lot of. So I don't want to actually sell that. Um, storage containers are tricky to sell because you never know if you can use them. Uh, healing, however, is something that is more feasible, I think, to sell. Even if they don't pay very much. Maybe like that. That brought in a bit of gold. And I'm just gonna buy... I'm gonna buy a bit more that. A bit more copper. There we go. Thank you, Super Mario. Very nice. I'm so happy that we got to see him before he actually left us. So nice. Oh, look at that. The tavern is coming very far. I mean, we probably have billions of decoration. We have almost 300 decorations to place. 
it. <laughs> it's insane. We have 42 windows to place. I, I can't wait until this is what's done. It's gonna be awesome. But now we should be able to get quite a bit more clay since we are mining things up, so that's great. And I do think the brewer is probably able actually to produce a bit better now that we were tweaking some things. We might have to improve it even more, however. And I'm not sure if you actually do need to uh, change anything here. Because we already have kind of kind of have things queued up for the water gate, so I think it should actually be fine. But for cooking, let's see. There's always something that shows up. Like seared meat and veggies, we can probably do more. I think we have queued up to do quite a few of those already. But we can increase that, so 35. Fish wrap. Seems like those are kind of decent as well. Provide some healing, so... Let's maintain maybe 10 of those. Ooh, a fruit yogurt. I we do maintain 12. We have 12. You can see in the top corner left here, that's how many we have. So we actually have this one maxed out at this point. Ooh, cheesecake. We haven't made any cheesecake at all in town yet. Healing received increased 50%. That's a really good one. Uh, we have zero, so let's maintain five. No food, we're just gonna get cookies and stuff like that. 25 of these, okay. So I think that's pretty a-okay for now, at least. Should be. Alright. So, you can see water is uh, spreading down here, very nice. So the only thing I'm really unsure about with the water is really when we are gonna bring down water, but hopefully the water pump is gonna solve that for us. So I kinda want to actually... I wanna try that actually, so I think that's gonna be a focus, but we, with these pumps that we have at this point, if we even had any ready, and we don't, okay. These can't go very far, like the upgraded better ones can go very far to bring water and then you have to like connect multiple ones or you have to connect a few and then you have like a little stream and then naturally it goes down. Yes, so it depends on how you want to move the water. But you can make an entire pipe system under the city if you need to. Which is pretty cool actually. But yeah, since uh, we bought a bit of ore I'm pretty sh comfortable to saying that's not gonna be good enough, right? Because last time we mined out, <laughs> we spent it really quickly. Let's uh, go down and look with this one. Because with this vision, we will actually be able to see like, okay, it continues this way, the vein. That should be a lot of good ore and some more copper up here. And I wonder if you should maybe get a bit more tin, perhaps. Let's see with X-ray, where have we been? I'm gonna get more, a bit more coal as well. Is this the tin place? Yes. Let's mine a bit more up here as well. And there we go. And we don't have like a road to get up here. So what I'm thinking is like, let's make a, at least a temporary road here. And later on we can like swap it out. So let's grab a um, cutter. And then we're just going to make a temporary road. Yes, the reason for that is that it's much quicker to move on. So if we're going to keep moving a lot up and down here at the moment, we will save a big chunk of time if you do this. And let's just customize it slightly. Pretty much just adding a few random colors here and there. Maybe the corners. Uh, we can... Remove a block in each corner, like that. Okay, there we go. And preferably also... I'm actually gonna save that, we can maybe reuse that road to Lada. Even if I'm not gonna use that exact road. I'm still gonna be able to like use a chunk of it. And that might save us some time. Potentially. What we can what we can also do is like take this one and we save this part that gives us a nice straight road there we 
go. Then I think we add a road that goes into the mountain, kind of. And here I think we just hook them up. There we go. So you know, they me I think we have to so move three times as fast on roads, so you know we can just imagine it. If they walk back and forth here a few times, we can save so much time in the long run, really, really quickly. And uh, I'm thinking since we have a road that leads up here, it's just natural if we would actually make some kind of a staircase here, or bridge at least. And I think we'll focus on that now. I'm kind of like spread out with my ideas at the moment. We're working over here, we're working over here, but I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be fine, I think. So let's see if we maybe start to make a staircase. Let's maybe grab a color. I was thinking like it could be it could actually be that wide. I'm not sure if we want to have that wide. That's kinda insanely wide to be on to be very honest with that. And I'm thinking of making this so this maybe starts a little bit earlier. Then I'm thinking that we go. Let's see if it, how it looks if we go two steps up all the time. Kind of what we end up with. Yeah, I think that should work, right? If we do move it a little bit closer, let's say that's two blocks. So let's move these two blocks closer. And I think that I think that's what's here. I might have to redo it one time, but I think it was around here. There we go. Perfect. Very nice. The water will stream under here. Then I think we go like this. Maybe like that. And then we should also probably have some extra support from under here. I think it's just gonna look well better if you do that. So in this case just click there and drag it up. Like so. And let's grab some color. And let's see. Let's make the middle a bit brighter. Like so. And for the other colors here, I guess we can have the top brighter than the bottom. And later we can add some decoration. We don't really have to do it now. However, I'm kind of leaning towards potentially having it like this. And then we can put some, something that sits on top there, some flowers or whatever. And I think we can do that maybe here as well. You only need to go like one block above. And I think it's fine with sitting like that. Maybe add another one there. Yeah, that should be pretty good, I think. Let's give that a try to build. If you like it. I wonder, will they be in the way? I don't think they will, actually. Maybe, maybe not. Very nice, okay. So we're getting that done, quicker access up here, that should be really good. Water's coming through here, all the way over here, very nice. It's gonna be really cool, like once you can see all the water just flowing in, we might adjust this later as well. I'm, I'm not a fan of this straight river. Like it's, it's very, very blocky, yeah. I think would be a good word to say it. Compared to like having something that feels like a bit more organic, maybe not fully, but still a little bit more at least. And probably like over here we would do like a bridge over, and here we might do some building, I haven't decided. Or we can, like I said before, we can make like a pond or something. 
or it can even be like a bathhouse over here. That makes sense that the water is there as well. Yeah. And probably on high hill we should look and maybe do at the watchtower. It could even be up here. We can definitely have something on this one. That can even be like a fortification and where you have like barracks and stuff. And your soldiers are like sleeping up there in the barracks. Could work. We'll see. But yeah, we have a lot of plans going. If you have some suggestions for things that you think we should be doing and uh, so on, do let me know in the comments. And uh, if you want the name of the game, let me know as well. I think there are still a few available names in our town, so feel free to let me know in the comments. So thanks for watching. Hope you all had a wonderful day watching the video today. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one. So thanks for watching and take care. Have a good one. See you soon.